In H1 Day 1, we're learning that ED at the end of a word can make three different sounds. Sometimes it says T, but we have to know we have to write ED. Sometimes it says D, but we know we have to write ED. And sometimes it says UD, and we know once again we write ED. So listen to it in to that sound, or those sounds in each of these words. Wished, we've got the T sound, kicked, we've got the T sound, dressed. Got the tut sound stamped. Got the tut sound, but we can see we always write ed. Then we've got hunt ud. So we've got the ed sound. Post ud. Want ud. Then on these ones, we've just got the ed is making its dut sound. Just plain old dut. Saved. Pleased. Stayed. So it's quite an important one that you recognise that you can. The ED can make three different sounds, so if you're hearing these sounds, most of the time you're going to write the ED at the end of the word. Now there's some other things in this list as well. You've already learnt the SH makes such sound at the end, start or end of a short word. Now this one, wished, where we've just got the W, and wanted, where we've just got the W. The easiest way to work out whether you put a W or a WH is to put your hand over your mouth and say the word wish. If there's no air, there's no H. There is no air, so there's no H. And wanted, want, no, there's no air, so there's no H in wanted either. So that's a very quick way to know how to spell those 5,000 words that start with W or WH. Now here we've got a short vowel sound, so we're putting CK at the end of a word after a short vowel sound. Here, short word, short sound in dress. Ends with S, you've got to put two S's. Stamp is just quite an easy one, it's five sounds, five letters, same with hunt, same with post, you've got the long O sound there. Wanted, the A here, the A after a W or a WH or a QU can make the OT sound. So be careful with that one. It could be an A or it could be an um, O for that OT sound, but after a W or a WH we're using the A for the OT sound. Saved, we've got the E making the A make its long sound. Pleased, we've got that long E sound in there. And stayed, we've got the long A sound with the AY. All right, but the main thing is learning about that ED at the end. So wished, if you want something badly enough, you might wish for it. Some people cross their fingers when they make a wish to make the wish come true. Um, kicked, it could be that you kicked a ball. When we add ED to the end of a word, it's always meaning um, past tense. It's always indicating that that thing has already happened. It happened before now. So um, dressed is when you put your clothes on. Stamped, you might have put a stamp on a letter, so you've stamped the letter, or you might have stamped your feet. Um, hunted is when we go off hunting for something to eat. Um, posted, posted a letter or you've posted a picture on Facebook or something like that. Wanted is something you want, not need. It's something that you might think you deserve. Um, saved, you, quite often we save our money for a rainy day. We save or we're saving up for something special that we want. Um, you could also save a bird, which means you might um, protect it from losing its life. So it can have a few different meanings. Pleased, when you make someone or yourself happy, you're very pleased. Um, stayed, when you're not moving anywhere. Or if you go and you might um, say that you stayed at your grandparents' house for a night or something. It means you went there and you stayed there. This boy is staying in bed because he's very sick. Okay, let's read these words, sound them and spell them and then cover them while we write them. So we're going wished, work itched, work itched, work itched, W-I-S-H-E-D, W-I-S-H-E-D, W-I-S-H-E-D. So the reason that we sound the word and then spell it is because if you just sounded it, you might want to write a T here, but when we spell it, we know we're going, we're using ED for the tut sound at the end of this word. So you have to write it three times and say the letters if you, as you go if you need to. W-I-S-H-E-D. Kicked. 
K-I-C-K-E-D. 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 And you have to spell this word especially because you could use a C or a K for the cut sound, but we know if the letter after a cut sound is an I, we must use a K before it. And you know that if this is a short sound, we have to use CK after it. So it's very important that you read it, sound them, spell them, cover them, write them, and don't forget to check them at the end. H1 day 2, we're revising that ED at the end of a word can say T, D, or UD. So I need you to get a green, a blue, and a yellow highlighter because that will help you get this page done correctly. And um, let's read the words. Wished, kicked, dressed, stamped. You can hear that all of those end in a t sound, but we know we have to write the ed. So you're going to be writing those there when we finish. Um, so that's why we've done all of those ones green. Now the next lot we're going to do blue. So we've got hunted, posted, wanted. And this is where we're hearing the ud at the end of a word and we know to write ed. And then at the end you're going to write those words here. Now the last set we're going to do yellow. We've got saved, pleased, stayed. So we're hearing the d at the end but we know we have to write ed. Now if the e's already there you don't have to write another e, you just put the d in. So on save, you just put the D, please, you just put the D, and stayed, you'd have to add the ED. So with stayed, always remember you write the base word and then you add the bits on. So you have to then write those words in the right place down here. So you've got wished would be first. You can fill in the rest of those. We need a D. We've got saved. All those ones that you coloured yellow will go there. And all the ones you colour blue will go here. So hunted would be the first one there. Now down the bottom you're doing a crossword. And you've done one of these before. So you know some of the clues go across. So you write the words across. One letter in each box. And the others, the clues are going down. So you're writing one letter in each box. But they're going down. So make sure you look carefully at the number in the bo of the boxes. To write your answer in the right place. She something her money for a rainy day. It's a cross and it's number two box. So where is our number two? There it is. Um, she saved. So even though we've got a two in there, we're still going to put a letter in there too. She saved her money for a rainy day. Now going down, one down. One is there. Going down, mum something, my letter to grandma. Mum posted. It'll be a word from up the top. Posted my letter to Grandma. You can finish the rest of those on your own. H1 day three, we're revising that ED at the end of a word can make three different sounds. So it can say T, it can say UD, and it can say D. So you need a green, a blue, and a yellow highlighter and colour in as I have. So wished, kicked, dressed and stamped are all the eds saying t in all of those words but you know you have to write an ed so color the ed in these four words green then we've got hunt ud post ud want ud where the ed is making its ud sound so you have to know to write ed so color the ed in blue in those three words then we've got saved pleased stayed so you can just hear the D in these. So colour in the ED in all those three words, but you know it's saying just the D sound. Okay, verb families. We can have kick, kicks, kicking, kicked. So you're either adding, um, well, we're adding the S here, we're adding the in here, and we're adding the ED there. Even though it might make three different sounds, we know that we have to put an ED on the end there. So work out your base word. So the base word of wanting will be want. So we have want, wants, wanting, wanted, 
pleasers and pleasing comes from the base word please. So you've got please, pleasers, pleasing. E goes away when E comes to stay. And here, because you've already got an E on the end of a word, you just have to add the D. Fill in the gap with the missing word with the right tense. My big sister showed me how she something, a photo on Facebook. She's already done it, so we know it has to be past tense, how she posted a photo on Facebook. You can read the rest of those on your own and work out which tense you need to use to make the words make sense in these sentences. Down here we're making a new word, so we've got undressed. So you have to put each part of the word together to form one word without any gaps between the parts and we're taking out those little add signs. So you're making the word unwanted, displeased and addressed, like he addressed the envelope or he addressed the assembly, meaning he spoke to them. So um, you can finish the rest of that on your own. H1 day four, we're looking at the past tense of words where we add ed to the end of them and the ed can make three different sounds. It can say d, t or ud. So we're going to colour these words in yellow, green or blue to make this part of the page easier to do. So um, if you hear d at the end of the word, you're going to colour it yellow. So we've got scream d. And have a look at the letter that comes before words where the ED is saying D. It's an M and we've got another one over here, clean D or an N there. That might help you a little bit. Okay, now let's listen to the T for um, the ED. We've got bumped and we've got um, as cracked. So let's have a look at the letters that end on those on the end of those base words. Bumped. We've got a P, cracked. We've got a K sound. So that might help you to work out which other ones would be green, where we've got the ED making the T sound. Okay, the last one we're looking at is where we've got the ED saying UD, and we're going to make those ones blue. So we've got rent ud, and you can see there's a T there before the ud, and a D, end ud. So you've got a T or a D before it, where it says ud. So you can go and finish colouring the rest of these. When you've coloured them all, you have to write them into their correct place here. And it says down the bottom, these base words end with, so you know if they end with a D, we have an M or an N before the ED. So that's what it's asking for here. Um, irregular past tense. Now this usually applies to a lot of words that have a long E sound in them, but we've got some other ones here as well. It's mostly with the long E sound, but it can be other words as well. So if we, and what we do is we go for a long, from a long sound quite often to a short sound. So if we're talking about the past tense of sleep, I will sleep well tonight. Last night I slept well. We go from a long E sound to a short one. So I will feed the dog today. Yesterday I fed the dog. So you're taking it back to its shorter sound quite often. And we're not adding ED to the end of these words. So these words are all verbs and we say they're irregular because we are not ending them by uh, putting them into past tense by putting ed on the end of them. So dream will uh, work to its short sound dreamt. Now you know that ea can make a long e sound with ea and it can also make, make a short et sound as in read. So when you see this word you could say read or read. I read a book. Same with dream. There's a whole pile of words where the EA may make its short sound. Keep would go to kept. So once again, we take it back to its short sound. And here you're actually going to write the T, just like you did there. You hear a T and you're going to write the T. 
So this is probably the hardest part where you've really got to learn which are the irregular verbs where we don't put ed at the end to show their past tense. So think about this very carefully. You might have to do this as a group. So we'd have hide, hid, meet, met, ride, rode. I'll leave you to work out those ones on your own.